solar panels, sustainable energy, and a computer arm update. Let's check it out. In my previous video, when I built my computer arm, I pondered the idea of attaching solar panels. Almost anything. A solar panel would be pretty cool. As of popular demand from a bunch of different commenters, I decided why not give it a shot. So here we go. First, I went out and bought two small panels rated at 5 volts and 500 milliamps. During peak sunlight hours, they should be producing 2.5 watts of power from each panel. To better put that into perspective, your standard USB to lightning iPhone charger delivers 5 watts, which is the same delivery of power we'll be receiving from the sun from our panels. This also requires soldering to a negative and positive terminal on each solar panel. So I used some 18 AWG rated copper wire. Now, a quick note on AWG for someone who has no clue about it. AWG stands for American Wire Gauge. It's a chart that ranks wires by numbers in terms of... You know what, f it. basically the smaller the number is, the thicker the wire, and the thicker the wire, the more power that can be delivered. Last but not least, we'll be using a buck converter for the project, which will regulate the power being delivered to the battery pack. You know, just in case there's like a power spike or something. I don't want that shit to blow off my f***ing arm. I'm not trying to look like Anakin just yet. Bruh. With all of that to soak in, you can now watch me struggle to put all of this shit together. We're gonna start by stripping all of the wires down. Then we twist the wires together. Next, we solder the wires to each positive and negative terminal on the solar panels. And then we twist the other two ends of the positive and negative cables together and solder them, effectively creating a parallel circuit. We then solder those ends to the buck converter itself, and we're done. I did record the process, but it, it was very painful to watch. It, it was almost worse than the season finale of Game of Thrones. I, I still love you, Kit. It's okay. After the wiring process was completed, I had to think of a way to attach the solar panels to my body. So I 3D printed little flat cubes that I could push Velcro through, and by using a glue gun, I stuck them to the back of the solar panels. Not my proudest creation, but it worked. All right, time to show off the finished product. Probably 15 or 16 degrees outside. It's cold as shit. Connect the battery in. And we should be getting some type of indication that it's charging. Yep, it's charging. That's cool. So, I mean, overall, it's a success. Let me see if we can take this thing off for a second. All right, it was a struggle. It took me almost two weeks to get that shot outside with the solar panels charging the battery pack itself. Every time I had off, it was either snowing, raining, or it was cloudy as hell. Long story short, I'm moving to Texas. I'm going down there and I'm meeting Elon and I'm going to Mars. I'm kidding. Anyway, I, I was really impressed at how much wattage I was getting, especially in sunlight hours that aren't peak by any means. It was able to charge my phone and it was able to charge the uh, battery pack that charges the Pi as well. Solar power is just something that's really interesting. It's something that I feel like we all take for granted. There's so much capability in that field. The fact that you can just get free energy by pointing one of these bad boys up at the sun is, is pretty amazing. 
well, free energy until a company comes along and buys the fucking sun, uh, and then they charge you to charge. <sighs> Calling it now. Corporate America. Gotta love it. Overall, I really did enjoy the project. I hope you did as well. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It could be whatever you want. It could be a, you know, it could be an idea. It can be a thank you. It can be a f you. Uh, whatever to your heart's content. That's it for me. Stay golden, pony boy.